As a man, I am primarily responsible for my safety, not the government. My attitude toward law enforcement is to reduce stress. I've been pulled over for speeding numerous times. My attitude has created many warning tickets and no violence. Too many young black men have been programmed to hate and fear the police. Don't miss the message, people. Let's not miss the message, all right? Don't miss the message. Do not miss the message. Don't miss the message, people. Let's not miss the message, all right? Don't miss the message. Do not miss the message. The times I walked in downtown. I saw trolleys passing by. I witnessed Beale Street. Saw Kobe tear his Achilles tendon. My Lakers won the game though. My first NBA experience live. Had a rendezvous with barbecue. Expected sweet and spicy. They lied. My wife and I went to Walmart where the shopping cart wheels locked up. Went to McDonald's when DoorDash acted up. They took our order, but didn't deliver our order. And McDonald's didn't have a lot of stuff on the menu. An example of false advertising. Every employee at every establishment were hood rats, wannabe thugs, and trifling. The parking was atrocious. So from the hotel, I walked two miles and was approached by someone pretending to be homeless. Applying to be my tour guide for $25 near the FedEx form, but my financial doors were shut. I said to my wife, no more of this, and we are out of here, never to return. But we had one stop to make. Not Graceland, thank you very much. The Stax Museum seeing all that soul memorabilia was the best part of that weekend but now years later I'm sitting here thinking about the population agendas years after I walked in Memphis Young Dolph Gangsta Boo Tyree Nichols, who's next to die? How Ben Crump is all up in the video whenever opportunities arise? Why you blocking the bridge, not letting people receive their food supplies? Why was there a need for five offensive linemen disguised as cops to murder one skinny guy? And now protesters show up along with Black Lives Matter when the irony is those killer cops were all black men but you don't hold them accountable it's the system it's a pattern but let their colors be of a pale complexion and you be saying let's get at them I'm sorry but something's not calculated why is Biden sending the Nichols family an invitation to the State of the Union address when in 94 he approved this mess in his campaign saying if you don't vote for him you ain't black or did you forget that it's not about freedom or personal choice isn't that why so many are unemployed but you fall for that political ploy I better shut up and dribble before they kill that noise by purging me in Illinois. But I've been walking in Memphis. Really though. Walking in Memphis by C Double 34 Music. In stereo. My condolences to the Nichols family.
not miss the message. Yo, this one really hit me. It hit me to the core, man. Because it's a tragic situation that kind of hits close to home to every melanated man. Hell to every man at this point. Because when you look at the statistics, when it comes to tyranny and the criminal abuse of power being utilized by the hands of these, these thugs in blue suits, I want to tell you the truth about it. This heinous, deplorable crime that took place and give you the reality of the situation because everything that's aired on a mainstream global level has a serious, serious agenda. You live in a time where they can scrub footage, they can hide whatever they would like to hide from the media, from the from the media and all publications. Um, certainly. This happens more often than you would imagine, where your rights are totally violated. And, uh, you know, they able to put certain things out there because there's an agenda. And I'm just gonna tell you just straight like this. Um, I'm gonna be just quite frank with you, right? I personally believe that this was a heinous hit on Tyree Nichols in order to push a political agenda. What happened to Tyree Nichols should not have happened. I have my thoughts on this situation and my commentary and assessment on this matter is not going to be popular. In fact, it might even make you upset. A young black man has lost his life and five now former police officers have effectively lost theirs because they're going to jail. So what do we make of all of this? We're going to talk about it in more and we're going to talk about some inconvenient truths that the black community is going to have to grapple with. Why is it that in the black community there is a high instance of rebelling against authority is there something going on in our dna that we're just not built to submit to authority that we're just not built to comply and obey when people give basic commands no i don't believe that at all i don't believe that there is something going on with us genetically that presupposes us to violence or that presupposes and places us um to where we are triggered when we are asked to comply. I don't believe that's the issue at all. What's been going on in the black community for the past 60 years? What is the underlying problem that we've seen in our community that everybody knows it's a problem, but everyone wants to walk around this elephant in the room as if it doesn't matter and if we're not seeing the fruits of that today in 2023? What is that? When you have an entire generation of young boys that turn into men that were raised without fathers, actively in the home, married to their mother, there is an element of rage, there is an element of emotionalism that you do not see in other communities and in other black communities where there is instances of intact families where the father is the head of the home the mother is lovingly submitting to that husband and the children understand authority because this is how they were raised 